What's up everyone, welcome to Kai's channel. Today we'll be reviewing this. The Good Smile Company's Degatai series Dyna Xenon. Now this is the first time that the Good Smile Company is doing a mecha instead of their usual Figma and Nandori series. So it would be a good idea to get a chance to take a look on their product since they'll be releasing the Brave series, the first one, Dagan X, early next year. Alright, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Dinosaur Battle Go! So coming right out of the box, the one and only layer is the one you see right here, which consists of all of the 5 units, and you got the different type of hands, and that's about it. Aside from that, you also have this right here, the base of the display stand, and also some of the components for display underneath it. And you can also see that there is the green beam effects as well. Other than that, that's all there is to it. Alright, let's take them out of the box and check them out. So here you have, right in front of you are the four units. You got the humanoid dragon, that's the dinosaur soldier, the car, dinosaur striker, the submarine, dinosaur diver, and also the plane, dinosaur wing. So just before we move on any further, just want to let you know that these are not diecast products. So if you were expecting that, then I'm sorry to tell you these are not what you're expecting. And you can definitely tell by picking them up, they feel really really light. And other than the screws and on smaller metals, I don't think there are any other metal components that's within these. Now as you can see, there's actually different colors that's color on it. But aside from the metallic colors, the gold and silver and some of the blues, other than those, the other colors that you see right now, those are all from the basic plastic that they have. So just by the look of it, they actually do look a little bit cheap. And definitely not what I expected because of the price that were paid for it, the 22,000 yen. And also what we've seen from the website and also on the box actually gave us a false sense that it actually would look a lot more prestige. Alright, let's check them one by one and see how they are. So starting off we have is the Dino Wing. Now the Dino Wing is actually a very thin plastic that shapes like a plane. And the overall coloring is actually red and black with the metallic silver that's colored right in the front where the lasers are and the front of the wings. The silver is actually painted very nicely. And then you got the metallic green and blue as the window on the top. But again, just like what I mentioned before, the overall does actually feels very cheap if it wasn't for the silver that's colored. Now the wings can actually move, you can see that these points Right here, they are like ratchet-like. And then there's clicks every time you move. And same for like the smaller wings right here. However, there are already issues that I found, which is this wing right here. This one doesn't actually click. And I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. So it actually is very loose right now. Now there are also these little wheels right here underneath the lasers so that you can actually roll it a little bit but it actually hardly does anything. So not sure why they're even there. And that's it with the Dyna Wing. Next we have is the Dyna Striker. Now the Dyna Striker is overall it's grey color with some of the metallic colors on the windows, the metallic blue and also the sides is metallic silver. But aside from that, the rest of them are plastic. Even for the fingers that's right here, the gold, I really wish they have colored it in metallic gold instead. It actually looks very cheap. Now there aren't really much here on the Dino Striker other than the fact that all these four wheels, they actually spin and it does actually spin quite smoothly. And so it's actually rolling really well. But aside from that, there's really much nothing here other than the fact that these can turn. Now next is the Dyna Diver, which the Dyna Diver, the coloring is actually very different from the rest, which is, you can see, it consists mostly in black, and then you got the silver painting that's done really nice. And then underneath that, it's actually in red. So, very different from the other colorings. Now the difference between this and the rest of the unit is that there's actually a gimmick that's in here, which is the button right here. You can see on the side, if you press on it, 
press on it and then slide it to the front. The missile pots actually opens. And these will open out. Same goes for the other side. So it's actually pretty neat. Although however the missiles inside, the red parts, those are actually painted on so nothing actually do fire out which is something that I find a little bit disappointing but then again each individual missile parts are open independently so this is actually a very nice gimmick that they designed on it and I like it a lot. Now aside from this little gimmick, there's actually a stopper right in front so that you can actually balance it on the flat surface and that's it with the Dyna Diver. And lastly is the Dyna Soldier. Now the Dyna Soldier unlike the other four units it's actually probably the most agile of all because of the humanoid shape that it's in and you can see that on the top the head actually can turn it can actually go 360 Shoulder joints goes horizontal and goes forward. Underneath the shoulder, this part actually can rotate. Elbows you can bend to 90 degrees. And then the wrist can actually rotate like this. And finally is the claw, which you can open up the finger right here to be like this, although there's actually nothing to hold, but you can actually open it and close it. And then you got the thigh, which you can rotate. And then you can turn the legs as well. And finally on the knee, you can bend it and it kind of does go all the way back to the thigh but any further you probably clash as you can see it actually the toe it's touching the waist already and then there's the feet you can actually rotate and then finally for the toes You can actually close and open just like the hands. Now the overall impression on the movement is actually quite well and the tightness on all the joints are very tight so nothing you have to worry about being loose or anything. Now each of the other three units can actually combine with the Dino Soldier so let's do that and check it out. So first for the Dino Wings, you gotta flip these up and then turn these horizontally like that and then the back these flaps turn this and then throw them forward like that same goes for the other side and that's done for the dino wing now it's for the Dino Soldier, flip the tail upwards so that's hidden and then you can see these two holes you gotta connect them to the pins right here just like that and finally for the legs right here these rotate them downwards And there we have it. So here it is, the Dino Soldier Wing Combine. Now I'm gonna say that it actually looks pretty cool with the wings on the Dino Soldier. You can finally see that it's in flight. So definitely looking cool right there. All right, let's move on to the Dino Striker to combine. Now as for the Dino Striker, first split them in half like this. 
and then open this section right here which actually flips up like that same for the other side and that's it as for the dinosaur soldier first we will smooth the shoulder all the way to a horizontal and then turn the black part like this so that the elbow is facing down same goes for the other side make sure the hands is correct as well and once it is like this turn the shoulder here all the way up the entire shoulder like this so that it's upside down same goes for this one and once that's ready you take the Dyna Striker and put it on you can see that there's actually a pin right here and there's a hole right on the arms of the Dyna Soldier so you just match them up now the finger might be blocking it so make sure that you close this properly and once that's in close it up like that same goes for the other side first turn the hands right here and then turn the hands like so the back wheel flip them out and here it is the dinosaur striker combine now the striker is actually pretty heavy so if you see that you're in this position with the striker storm make sure that you actually use the stand because if you don't then here is what will happen you can see that the arms the joints it's not supporting the weight it's slowly diving down i would suggest you to use the display arm which does comes with and you can see that it actually locks on the back so that it supports the weight now the overall it's actually really cool with the striker storm with all the wheels popping out to the front but other than that there's actually not much gimmicks to it now as for the diver these gold right here they're actually handles that you can flip out and once they flip out just have the dinosaur soldier to mount on it and grab the handles and that's it and here it is the dinosaur soldier diver combine but i honestly think the combine wording is actually really misleading because all it's actually doing is just holding on to the handles and having a ride which is honestly very different than combining together but hey that's what they call all right and that's it with the smaller combination between all the units and the dinosaur soldier let's move on to the actual combination of the dino xenon so starting off with the diver you turn the top front section all the way like this and then pull these two open so that they becomes the side skirt and then as for the legs pull to extend to review the knee joints same for the other side and the legs is ready as for the dino striker split in half and then open these and that's it as for the dino wing continue with where it's combined with the two flaps open flip these to the back all the way like this and these ones horizontally like that and then pull the helmet and that's it lastly of course is the dino soldier the arms just like we did with the combination of the dino striker
like that. Same goes for the other side. Once we have that, rotate the arm, this time only to the back, like this. And then as for the leg, straight them out, and then lock the two legs. You can see that there's a pin and a hole on the side, and just lock them in like this. Close the claws to the feet. Okay. Once that's done, close the tail on the back and then flip the leg and bend them all the way to the back like a box like this and then rotate the head upwards tilting the top. Next we have the dino wing. Now you can see that there are the two holes right here basically slide them to the gap that's on the shoulder of the dinosaur so make sure that you do that on both sides simultaneously you might need to adjust the shoulder a little bit so that it actually falls into the gap and leave no gap in between just like this and once that's combined slowly rotate the shoulder joint down so that the holes when combining the dyna wing these two holes are together to these two pins right here not sure if you can see it it's really dark so slowly close all the way down as you can see the pin and then just click onto it like that so now that we have that combined with the Dyna Striker as the arm it's actually the same as it is when we combine it with the Dyna Soldier originally just like that and we have the top half of the body and then finally we combine it with the Diver Like that. Now there's this pin right here that's near the waist where you can actually pull outwards to unlock when separating but honestly it's actually very loose even without doing that it's very easy to separate the upper body and the lower body so the locking mechanism here it's actually not done really well and it actually comes apart quite easily so this is something that I don't really like especially when it's actually combined the first top half and the bottom half which is a very crucial part in the whole entire combination so definitely they can naturally improve on this and finally we put the helmet on and then reveal the face by opening the mouth of the dinosaur and that's it and here it is the combined Dyna Xenon now the looks overall it's actually pretty great Although the arms, I think that they can actually do a little better because all I can see right now is still the Dyna Striker just split in half. They should have done a little bit more on the arms, maybe to have it transform a little bit more so that it doesn't resemble too much of its original form. So that's something that I don't like. And as you can see, the transformation is actually not too complex. It's actually pretty decent. I find it it's really fun to transform this Dyna on and to combine it especially on the waist guard, the front and back, which is the submarine's top that splits open and then becomes the side, and also the dyna wings to flap that becomes the front, which is a really great idea. So that's really great on that part. Now, even after combining the overall weight, it's still pretty light. As I said before, this is not a die cast product. Everything is in plastic. So even combining, it still feels very light. Now as for the height, it's approximately around 27cm which is a little bit under twice the size of the original Dinosaur's height. Now if you compare it with the recent release, the CCS Toys Machinga Zero, you see that it's actually approximately the same height, which is actually pretty big. Alright, let's check the movement on how it is and some of the gimmicks that it has. So starting on the head, your head actually can turn because it's using the original Dinosaur's head. And it can also tilt upwards 
and then downwards as well. Now maybe because of the combination of the helmet, the head cannot turn 360 anymore, so it only goes 180 from the front. As for the arms, it can turn. Again, it's using the Dino Soldier's joint, so that's why it can do that. But the back of the wings actually blocks it, so the movement is actually very limited. Now you can actually tilt the back wing a little more to get a little more movement, but still, it's very limited as well. As for the elbow, it goes from here all the way up to this point, which is approximately 90 degrees. Or it's actually 90 degrees. And then if you actually pull out a little bit, you can see that there's a joint which allows you to actually turn. And you can hear that it's a ratchet like joint. So it actually turns from this all the way to here, approximately around 90 degrees as well. So it's actually quite good. And to be honest, I think it actually looks better with the joint sticking out a little bit. So maybe I should do it on the other side too. There we go. Looks a lot better. Now as for the hands, it actually comes in three different hands, which is one, as you can see here, the default one, which is the finger is all flat out. And this one, there's actually a little gimmick here where the side, this piece can actually flip out. And the reason for that is that you can combine with the beam effect, like so, to become the Dyna Saber. And you can do that with both hands. And here is the second one. Now the second one, it's actually a fist. And the gimmicks here is that it can actually open all these fingers so that it actually grabs on something. But unfortunately, there's actually doesn't come with any kind of weapons in this set that for it to hold. So not sure what this gimmick is for. And lastly, it's this hand that's open, which is really cool. And the red part of it doesn't move. Just like the fist you saw just now, that part doesn't move as well. So three different kinds of hands serves three different kinds of purpose. So there are sets of different hands for each of the arms so that you can mix and match different arms to accommodate different poses that you want. So which is really great. Now as for the legs, you can actually tilt out a little bit from the resting position, but not too much. It's actually for standing mostly. And then you can rotate to the front. Just be careful of the parts. And goes forward or the way horizontally and then backwards as well. Again, be careful of the cannon like this. And then as for the leg right here, it's a ratchet like one that also goes all the way up as well, which is pretty great. And last, and lastly is the feet, which is a ball joint that you can twist around for you to move and place it however you like. And then for the last gimmick, which is these can on here, which you can flip out all the way up here. So it looks like this. And that's it with the Dino Xenon. Now let's separate them and put them back together, but this time as Dino Rex. So starting off with the Dino Soldier again. First, we twist the head all the way to the back and flip this antenna downwards. Next, we open this chest piece and also this back piece right here, open it out. Okay. And just leave it open a little bit like this because here you gotta push this entire piece upwards 
and you can see that there's this area that you can push up. So make sure you push it all the way up. Like this, that goes over the dinosaur soldier's head. And then you can close the head. And you can see the Rex head already. Then, then for the arm, twist it backwards so that the elbow is facing forward. And then flip them to the back. The tail goes inwards. And then as for the leg, pull them out and you can see this flap that sticks out. And make them horizontal like this. And then you twist the leg. So that it bends forward. And then finally get the feet and adjust it so that it becomes the claw. And here it is ready for the combination. And then for the diver, again, split this open. Turn it like this. And then this time, you pull these outwards. So that there's this gap right here. And then again, extend it so that the knee shows. And then this time, we're bending it like this. And as for the feet, pull these claws out. And then you can adjust them to the side by pulling in them outwards. Like this. Same goes for this side. And you're done with the Dyna Diver. As for the Dyna Wing, again with these two flaps already open, all you have to do is Bend it upwards like this and turn these to the side. It should be like this so that the sides are horizontal. And then for this part right here, the silver part, you can actually pull this out. And then there's this mini wing that comes out of it. Same goes for the other side. Like this. Very nice looking wings. Okay, now that we have all the parts ready, let's combine them. So we take the bottom piece, the Dino Diver, and combine it with the Dino Soldier. So just a little bit correction, found out that the Dyna Diver has to be like this where the side guard is in front and also the landing gear has to come out like this. Combine it into these holes right here which is somewhat a little tight and then we put in the 
time is soldier again and it's already feeling tilting forward because of the weight and then we add the last piece the dino striker which is really easy it's basically in the car form and you can see that there's this gap right here which is basically for the dino striker to lock it in place like right here like this and then we place these two flap from the dyna wing right here and lastly we tilt this a little bit so that it acts like a tail and switch these two wings to the back as for the one final piece the helm goes on right here and here we have it the Dynarex now most of the gimmicks is actually the same as the Dyna Xenon with the exception of the wings that you've seen for the first time it actually pops out which I really like that's hidden inside the Dyna wing and also on the toes they can actually spread out which is very nice as well but aside from these two everything else is the same and here we have is the display stand now the display stand is just a rectangular piece with all these holes onto it and then there are four pins on the back which just allows you to put the extra hands that you have and just basically place it there so that you don't have to go back and forth to the box just to look for them which is a really great idea and also on the front there's this gold plating which is the Dino Xenon and also with the Gatai Lujin right there underneath that but the one thing that I like the most about this display stand is that most of the accessories actually all of the accessories are located on the back they are stored very nicely hanging in there tightly all these pieces are for the display stand. You got the adjustable arm that you can actually place it onto whichever holes you want, right here. And these little pieces right here, each of them are different scenarios that you place onto the Dino Scenarios units for you to display. And then obviously on the right, it's the green beam effects for the Dyna Saber which you can also store here nice and tight right here so in general this is probably the best design of the display stand ever holding all the necessary accessories all in one piece without having to go back and forth onto the box which is very very good idea in conclusion, what do I think about this piece? Now this piece is actually very fun to play with, with the transformation, also the combination into Dino Xenon and also the Dino Rex, which is really great. I must say that it's absolutely perfect according to the anime transformation. However, as much as I like this piece, there's actually a couple fundamental flaws that I must say that I'm very displeased with it, which is, as you may see throughout the video, the Dino Diver combining with the Dino Soldier, the waist part, it's actually not holding very firmly. And this is not just on the waist but other parts as well which I will get into in a minute. And although there's this locking mechanism, it doesn't really serve its purpose as with a little more force, that thing comes off very easily. Which brings us to another part which also is similar which is the Dino Striker when it's combining with the Dino Soldier on the arms that thing is actually held by a pin and a hole but the thing is that part is actually not holding it firmly as well so when you're adjusting it it actually comes off a little bit not as bad as the waist but it still comes off so it does kind of annoys me sometimes and then also on the Dino Wing although the wings there's these hatchet like adjustments it's still 
very flimsy and it actually doesn't hold up on its angle so that it actually is not very holding it firmly. So all these points together, they're not doing the job that they were supposed to do. Which is actually very very disappointing on given that I really like this piece a lot. And to make things even worse is that the cost of this is actually not cheap. Which the retail price is actually 22,000 yen. And I'ma say that with this kind of price, for this kind of quality, it's absurd. It doesn't make sense at all. Not only is it not die cast, it's all plastic. And also with all the issues that we mentioned just now, everything doesn't add up to this cost. So again, as much as I like this piece, I must have to say that I would rate this piece 8, 3, or 5. So for those of you who are still pondering whether to get this or not, I would say that you shouldn't get this and focus on other die cast piece such as the CCS toys or also the three zeros robot doll series which all of them are within this price range and they're die cast and most of all they're just as fun and to top it off it actually worths the money but what I'm trying to say here is that this piece alone isn't worth the 22,000 yen that you're paying for so Definitely don't recommend it if you don't love the Gridman universe or particularly the dinosaur right here. So just setting the expectation for those of you who's trying to get this product. So after reviewing this, I now have an additional question which is if this is like this for the dinosaur, do we have to worry about the Dagon X that they're coming out early next year? Would it be something like this? Will the QC be just as bad as this one? These are the questions that I'm beginning to worry about after reviewing this piece. So hopefully by that time or the Dagon X won't suffer the same issues that we're seeing right here. Otherwise, I'll be very disappointed at Good Smile Company. Alright, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and find it useful. As always, do support me by hitting that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.